Welcome back guys. Um, today we're going to be working on the project setup and the launch screen. So first of all open up Xcode and I'm using um, Xcode 12.3 as you can see over here. So we're going to create a new Xcode project and select app. In your case maybe single view application. So next and as you know this application is called Yummy IE and then you can set your identifier. We're going to be using storyboard and UI kit Swift as a language as well so click on next and you can just select the folder that you want to store this particular um, project I'm gonna store my iOS development so create and sweet so we have our application set up okay so iOS 11. Now the next thing we're going to do is to import our assets. Okay, so the icons and images that we're going to be using in this project. So just go ahead and click on assets.xc assets. And uh, if you head over to the, well, don't head over, but in my desktop, I have my assets right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually upload this folder so that you can move along with me. So don't worry. But I'm going to drag all of these icons, this included, into our assets folder, here or here, either way works, works fine. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to drag the applications icons. So the one that's over here, the one that's on your um, home screen. So I'm going to click on, where is that? Yeah, iOS. And I'm going to drag this entire folder in. But before then, I'm going to delete this particular icon or the, um, I don't know, whatever it's called. Good. So now we have our app icon like this. This is unassigned, so I'm going to delete that. And we're all good. So let's go ahead and run this. And we should have our um, app icon displayed. And um, yeah, basically just that. All right, so um, yeah, if we look over here, you can see our app icon, and yes, this looks pretty good. So um, now let's actually move on to um, designing our launch screen. So if you get over here and click on the launch screen dot storyboard, okay. Now in our launch screen, the first thing we we're gonna need to add is an image view. So I'm just gonna drag an image view, and uh, the shortcut I used was Shift Command and L. You could also click on this icon right here to you know get a list of all the different designs that are available all right so now we have our image view now we need to set the image and we have an image called app icon like this and I'm gonna give this a width and a height of 200 200 by 200 all right cool now the next thing we're gonna add is a label that holds the text of the name of the application and this is going to be Y-U-M-M-I-E. Now the font size, I'm going to make this, well let's change the, the, the design, custom, and we're going to be using, let's see, scroll to the top, the bottom, alright this looks good. So marker felt, and I'm going to be using wide. Cool. And I'm going to set the font size to be something around maybe 36. All right. Now, um, I want to center both of these, um, like the image and the label, in our view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add both of these to a stack view, a vertical stack, and then center the stack view. So my system is freezing a little bit, I don't know why. Let's give it a minute. Okay, so select the label, select the um, icon, and right here we're gonna say embed in stack view. And it's gonna make it a vertical stack automatically, but if yours is horizontal for whatever reason, then click on axis and select vertical. All right, so now we have our um, stack view. I can simply hold down control click on the stack view and drag to our main view and hold down shift select um, center horizontally in safe area and vertically 
So that's that. Now we can realign by clicking on this icon on the bottom. All right, now this looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is to change the um, text color from black to red. So yeah, I'm going to click on this color right here. And then I'm going to click on custom and this icon right here. And then I'm going to use, um, let's use this. All right. So now we have our launch screen created. Let's launch this and see if everything looks good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So um, in the next video, we're going to be creating our onboarding screen where we have the different sliders or different pages and you swipe left, right, and you're going to see the next and get started button. So we're going to cover that in our next video. Till then, stay tuned.